need to go see my colleague Rebecca. Hope she's already in her office. Let go. Yes, who it is? It is your colleague Katya. Oh yeah, Katya, how are you? I am doing great. And you? On my side too, it's going great by the grace of God. Okay, so are you still wearing your head scarf? Yes, I like my scarves. Katya tell me please, why don't you make weaves and wicks like me? I don't do it because I don't like adding extensions to my natural hair at all. On top of that, I love taking care of my natural hair that God gave me. Okay. You know, once I was also a fan of your weaves and your locks until I came across a documentary that completely chilled my blood. Thanks to this documentary, I realized where my misfortune and my curse came from. Because a few months ago, nothing worked in my life anymore. It was a failure upon failure and I kept having bad dreams at night. One day, I said to myself stop. And I had made the decision to stop living in mediocrity. Over the next few days, I had completely tidied up my life. I prayed and raised my voice to the Lord. During that time, and despite everything I did, I found no satisfaction. I quarreled with my husband all the time and happiness no longer existed in my home at all. In fact, I had done my best not to continue living in this painful situation, but I still could not do it. Wow! But how did you do it in the end? As I told you earlier, it was this famous documentary that saved my life. This documentary really allowed me to understand a lot of things. I am sure you will be amazed when I share it with you very soon. Where I did not know that you had also gone through difficult times in your life. Of course, Katya, and if you want, I'll share this documentary with you at the break. Okay, you know. I can't wait for you to come and tell me about this documentary, because I had no idea that extensions or locks could also be at the root of some problems in our lives. And yes, my colleague. Anyway I'll share the info with you later. Okay. See you later. Rebecca. See you later, Katya. But I still feel beautiful with my fake hair. If I were to learn that it was my hair that was the cause of my problems, I would not hesitate for a second to get it out of my head, because I don't want to drag someone else's curse on my head for the rest of my life. You know, my colleague in the assembly, we are so used to praying about our curses and about our family ties. Except that we forget others, such as the famous Brazilian wicks. Did you know that, originally, the majority of women who wore Brazilian hair were poor, desperate women suffering from diseases, suffering and calamities? No, not at all. I was not aware of this before. That's it, now I've informed you. You know, these desperate women go to a temple as if it was their last hope. They cut their hair and they remove it from their heads to offer it to their god as an offering. To say that really, I am giving you my hair so that you can give me a little bit of luck in my life. It was as if they were all giving their curse to their god in exchange for a little bit of luck. Wow! I am really shocked by what I have just heard. And yes, my colleague, that's where a bit of her hair comes from. You know, once this hair has been sacrificed to idols, an organization takes it back and transforms it into Brazilian locks. Unfortunately, our sisters, not self-conscious about the wonderful frizzy hair that God gave them, are now wearing the curse of these people on their heads for months and months without realizing it. I totally get your message, but once wash and transform. Do you think they'll still have curses? Yes, Katya, they are not machines that remove a curse. As long as her hair is not burned, it will always be cursed because it was offered as a sacrifice in exchange for a specific service. For example, when I was still wearing this fake hair, I could never sleep on my back, face against the sky. I always had bad nightmares. But without lying to you, since I stopped wearing them, I assure you, I sleep today like a baby sleeping in its mother's arms. I no longer have bad nightmares, no more dreaming of night wives or night husbands in my sleep. The peace of the Lord Jesus Christ has returned to my home. 
I now feel connected to the Lord when I pray with my scarf over my head. A lot of doors opened for me and my life changed dramatically in such a short period of time. Whereas before that I had tried everything. But I still couldn't unblock certain situations in my life. But as soon as I made the decision to never wear it again, I felt God's grace and mercy over my life again. You know, my colleague, it is not for nothing that God created us with our natural hair. Let us not seek to correct God at all costs, because He knows why He gave us freezy hair and a beautiful, ebony skin color. Let's be proud of it and take care of our natural hair that He gave us. Let us thank Him for having created us in His image. May all the glory go to Him down to the cycle of centuries. Amen to Sisters, I am really touched by your message, without lying to you. I, who am here, still have some spiritual problems to deal with, because I also very often have bad dreams about them and I also often have excruciating headaches, I assure you. A colleague until today, I have not yet found someone to marry me and I am also often attacked while sleeping by unclean spirits. But by the grace of God, I will regain the divine and natural nature that God gave me when I was born in this world. Thank you in any case for your advice. I too, starting today, will never put his hair on my head again, because I really don't want to be an instrument that enemies manipulate as they please. It is better for me to obey God than to suffer the consequences of rebellion. You said very well my colleague, may the Lord Jesus Christ of Nazareth accompany you in this new resolution that you have just made. Amen. Come on, let's go. Yes, here we go. But why did you want to see me so badly? I assure you, Rebecca, you were completely right, because since I got rid of my false hair and Brazilian locks, my spiritual problems have greatly reduced. I sleep better and at night and I don't have any bad dreams anymore. I now enjoy reading the Bible and spending time in the presence of God. I assure you. What surprised me the most is that I no longer feel the spiritual heaviness that was inside me before. I feel more and more connected with my Creator. Again. Let us give infinite glory to God Sister for all His benefits in your life. You know, Katya, God loves people who listen to the Word of God and who put it into practice. May the Lord fill you with His grace and love and draw you more to Him so that you may be more sensitive to His Word. It is in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ that I prayed. Amen. Amen. Dear brothers and sisters in Christ, do not be ashamed of the nature that God has given you. Because everything that God has done is good. Don't try to curse yourself by wearing these false hairs that were sacrificed to idols. Let's learn to love ourselves as God created us. Lord, give us the grace to not want to conform to this present cycle. Help us to walk in ways and in accordance with commandments. It is in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth that I prayed. Amen. Brothers and sisters, that's it all for this video. If you like this video, feel free to like it, comment and share around you so that many souls be saved and restored. And don't forget to subscribe to the Sentinel channel so you don't miss any of our upcoming videos. God bless you.